Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So it seems like everybody and their mama likes to talk to page six when it comes to dishing tea on Wendy Williams and her former account manager at Wells Fargo slash frenemy, Miss Lori Schiller, is no different. She says that she's receiving threats and has around the clock security detail since she was accused of being the person that held Wendy Williams hostage from getting her own funds. And now Lori Schiller is scared for her life. She said, Wells Fargo won't even help me in my time of need and I had their back. Child, we're going to get into Miss Lori Schiller and so much more. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. So earlier this year and maybe the latter part of last year, we were informed that Wendy Williams had been locked out of her Wells Fargo bank account. They said that she was a victim of undue influence and they stopped her from using her account, which held millions and millions of the talk show Maven's funds. Now she couldn't add her son as a power of attorney. She couldn't pay her bills. They wouldn't talk to her. It was a big mess. Wendy went and got attorney LaShawn Thomas. They went to the bank in Florida and they wouldn't even talk to Wendy with LaShawn present. Now, since all of this happened, we began following the case pretty heavy here on this channel, breaking down the court docs and all, but then the case became sealed, so we weren't able to see anything. Well, it's been close to a year and Wendy is still locked out of her account. She's gone to rehab, she's come back. They still don't trust her with her own Now, fun. while all of this was going down, Wells Fargo was getting a pretty bad rep. People were on Wells Fargo's Instagram account and Twitter account saying, give my auntie back her money, I'm gonna cancel my account, and so on. Well, what we didn't know is that the account manager, Miss Lori Schiller, was getting threats as well. She has the police waiting outside her house 24 seven because she says that Wendy's fans are livid and she is scared for her life and she can't take it anymore. But here's the thing, if they're not going after Kelvin and Sharina after everything that went on with them, why are they going after you so hard when her whole life was changed because Kelvin and Sharina? She can get her money back. She can't get that husband back or that marriage or all those memories. Child Lori, I call Cap, but let's read and see what she got to say. Now, this is in Miss Lori Schiller's words. Wendy Williams' financial advisor claims she's a prisoner in her own home and has been forced to hire armed security to protect her family from death threats. Lori Schiller exclusively tells Page Six that ever since the former daytime talk show host publicly claimed she can the Wells Fargo financial advisor, she's been through hell. I have 24-hour armed police officers outside of my house kind of vetting everyone that comes to my door. It's starting to affect my life. I'm a prisoner in my own home, she tells us, adding that her continued work on the account has been putting her family at risk. I'm kind of living in my own personal hell here, she says. Schiller tells Page Six, despite Williams' claim, she was never fired and is still the lead advisor on the account amid the talk show host lawsuit against the bank. She says she's been having all positive conversations with Williams, with whom she was very close to for 12 years. Despite the public lashing from 58-year-old Williams following Wells Fargo's February claims that she needs a guardian, Schiller says that she has been lauded internally by the bank for the work she's done to protect Williams from those who mean her financial harm, but the bank won't publicly support her. Schiller goes on to say, all I've done was follow the law to the T, and I've been praised by Wells Fargo for all of my efforts, noting that the bank is footing the bill for her home security. They probably doing it with Wendy Williams' money. I've given them ample time to come to my defense and make a statement and for some reason they just are putting it to the side. Schiller and her attorney Anthony Mango who was also present during the phone conversation said that there is allegedly a gag order in place within the lawsuit which since has been sealed so they can't discuss specifics about the ongoing case. She did however note that Wells Fargo not Schiller pursued the guardianship over Williams because of a pattern of behavior that made issues apparent. Wells Fargo took the lead, she adds. I just don't think people understand the complexities of what goes on behind the scenes. It's really a bad time for guardianship, Schiller adds, alluding to Britney Spears' recent freedom from her own conservatorship. 
Schiller explains that the guardian who was appointed shortly after Wells Fargo initial filing serves as a conduit between Williams and Wells Fargo. The Wendy Williams experienced author has access to her money that is meant to support her livelihood, but the guardian will object to a request that appears to be from someone exerting undue influence over Williams. While we are unable to discuss employee matters, the financial well-being of our clients is at the heart of everything we do, a spokesperson for Wells Fargo told Page Six on Friday. As far as Wells Fargo goes, there was a whole bunch of sneaky, underhanded stuff that was happening behind the scenes, and that's the reason why things were sealed. That's also the reason why they got rid of attorney LaShawn Thomas, because she was finding out the backhanded stuff that was going on and trying to put a stop to it. It's the reason why Wendy Williams' ex-manager, Bernie Young, was taking money out of her American Express account. Yes, we all know that Wendy Williams was not at her best. However, taking all of her money from her and not giving her access to it without her having to go to the bank and plead her case, that didn't make the situation any better. Now, Wendy has been on the mend after a quick stint in rehab. She's been photographed with a fuller face, looking happier and healthier than she's looked in a long time. Still no word on her podcast or what projects are currently in the works for her her or any updates on her money for that reason we don't even know who's representing her in her case at this point with wells fargo all i know is that it doesn't look like things are getting better as far as her being able to get her money i don't trust the activities that are currently going on around this entire mess i don't trust the people that are in her corner and i hope that now that she is sober or in a sober state wendy can see who the real people are in her life and weed out the people that don't mean her any Before good she had Kelvin that kind of vetted and made sure that the right people were in her life now she no longer has that so I hope that now that Wendy is sober she is able to do that on her own as far as Miss Lori Schiller goes if you're saying that Wells Fargo put you up to it and they don't have your back any more than just having police officers outside your house to make sure that you are safe child those people aren't looking out for you I don't really feel like they put you up to it but if they truly did you might not need to work there anymore anyway what I need you guys to do is leave a comment what do you think about everything going on with Lori Schiller what do you think about Wendy Williams and how she's doing now that she's out of rehab she looks better to me you guys have to tell me how you feel leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes. So you don't miss any of my new episodes.